Now then, what else is up in these mountains? What else can we get into? What other sort of trouble can we, uh, can we start? Nothing further off that way. Runoff Creek. Can't go down this way. Go over? No, this just leads us back. Void. Fade. My instincts dull when I'm tired. Yeah, we'll go ahead and rest. Dead shanks. Knock knock wonder if dogs ever run off with bits of you. <laughs> you should be more concerned about what you'll do when I <laughs> <laughs> They really don't get get along all that well, do they? At least it's not like old Baldur's Gate where you had certain companions together they would literally at a certain point just fight like i think if you had like always good too if you had keldorn and pretty much anybody that was evil eventually they would fight had uh um edwin and uh nira no not nira um the 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 dual class uh thief and a mage girl I think those two would fight. Uh, I, I'm sure there's other combos that I can't, that I'm not coming up with. Myconia didn't get along with like any of the good characters. Which is why I never played a good party, because Myconia is the MVP. He's just right care of it. Hey, Candlemere. Um. Okay, so we have no events. Trade agreements, which we can't do because, yeah. Um, love of the people. Buildings with static loyalty bonus by 10%. Okay. Counselors of Devers. Oh. Um, yeah. About regions in the South Narrow Marches. 400 BP. God damn. I mean, it's worth it, but god damn. Uh, let's start up. Let's rank her up. Yeah, whatever. I wasn't super worried about that. Okay, so he leveled up. Failed. She succeeded with the refugees. Okay, uh, whatever, Lindsay, fuck you. Um. <laughs> uh, Era. I'm more efficient than the post. For all trade agreements, not worried about those. Okay, so let's start that. Uh, that requires 100 BP. Yeah, we can afford that. And then regions. Oh, we can claim the cave lands. I would rather claim the cave lands. There, settle. We may want to establish a settlement here. Okay. Yeah! Kingdom is now... Quite a bit. Okay, um... I would kind of like somewhere that's... Barely... Get... From our capital. Because getting up to... Guard is kind of a pain in the ass. I want somewhere that's a little bit easier. Here. Shambling steps, yeah. Go ahead and enter here for just a moment. Oh, how much money we got? Bit. Here's, there's just, we, I mean, uh, lumber yard is good. Plus one relations when located in a settlement with people. 
Uh, we want, uh, where are the stocks? Yeah. And we want a longhouse, it's fairly central. Stocks don't get any bonus from being next to anything. Uh, Watchtower can only go on its own spot for it. Uh, okay, if there's both, both in a separate slot. Um, Smithy, look at it to a shop. Also, look at it with a tavern. And then, uh, tavern. Plus one when located to longhouse, plus one to espionage. From... Okay. Barracks. Mm hmm. Do like a tavern, we could do a shop and then a smithy. And the barracks there. Smithy. Shop. What? Walls. Barracks next to the the tavern. Stability next to uh I kinda like it the next one has a little bit more. We don't have a lumber yard yet, which go up there. Base to a shrine and the stocks can go up there too. Okay. We're broke, but we have another settlement now. Over stuff awaits you. Best friend. Oh. Usually Elder Dragon basically means more dangerous dragon. What do we got? Greetings, Baron. I'll get right to the point. This is a complaint from Brevis from the Silver Step settlement. He claims that a troublemaker hunter named Ivar. Iris persuading the villagers the true sovereign of the lands is the mighty silver dragon. The dragon stands as patron to the people, and of course, people are unable to verify. I will deal with it. Uh, no, uh, yeah, whatever, Lizzie. I don't care. Then, uh, oh, that's Bakken. I both love the ruler, and if their beloved Baron buys old Bakken's potions, he's certainly a worthy alchemist. Add scientist gloves. Those right there wear fire resistance 15 and acid resistance 15. Oh my god. Hanky boy. Okay, so let me get this straight. He has currently 10 cold resistance, 15 fire, 15 acid. That's that's pretty that's pretty good, and that's uh, uh, uh um he has a flat three dr and here's the dr right two. Deal. Okay, yeah, this uh. Pretty good. Pretty happy with all that. Um, we'll drop off a couple things to the storyteller. Also, he needs. Where is a better weapon? Did I sell the better weapons that I got? <laughs> Look at it. Follow me, or don't. Yeah, I need to get him a better weapon. God damn it.
Okay, so... Let's get him a better weapon. I'm dumb and forgot that... And sold the one that I had for him. Um, ice. Sending order. Uh, what one-handed weapon? Here, if they're light, we want strength. Giant bane, no. Dragon gem, no. Light mace. I could find like a. I'll be flail. Bad cold iron. Lord, no. Uh, I mean, the damage with it is good enough that, yeah, I'll go for it. Oh, it's a D10. No, it's a D. Oh, wait, it's two handed. Son of a. Um. That pisses me off that it's two-handed. Okay, um... What do you got, sir? Not much. I see you got anything fun. No, she ain't got nothing. I'm curious if she has any spells that I... Output. I she has a level two. Uh, yeah, no. Um. Go now. I should probably go to that settlement and see, uh, see if there's, uh, like a, a, a crafter there. I know that one shows up in the south in our marches, uh, just because of the, the first playthrough that I had done. I believe that's how you get Onslaught, the plus five heavy plate. Which, don't get me wrong, I would love to have Onslaught. If I threw Onslaught on my fucking armored Hulk, oh, that'd be that'd be sick. Um, oh, well, kind of broke, so I don't know that we can claim that stuff. Shamblin steps. Sounds very sad. You can't hunt in dungeons. Well, that's 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 debatable. Rask the wild fist. The half -orc, half orc looks at you without any friendliness. His clothes are covered with spots. He looks exhausted and sickly. Master Rask is not well. My last legs go long. What happened to you? The calamity. I was going about my business and then I fell ill. Cut down by a fever. I'd been burning up for three weeks. Thought I would die more than once. Local merchant saved me. A kind soul. Damn him. Saved me, but not for free. Took everything I had as payment. Even my precious work tools. Good am I to anyone. If I got my tools back, I'd be quite alright. Make such weapons and armor. They sold faster than I could make them. But without my tools, I'm useless. Tried to use a regular hammer to forge like I do, you just ruin a good thing. I'd bend the tongs and wouldn't make anything worth putting my name to. Here you need an armor. If you help me, I'll serve you. What's your name? Okay. Here. Here are your tools. Really? Thank you so much. Now I'll be alright. 
I'll have food at my table and get rid of this damn fever and do what I've promised my children. Keep my promise. Two sets of his. Should go. Maybe I should do the the stolen land stuff. Hunter. Okay, so there's a priest here. Will ever end? Stunning elven lady turns to you. Her hair is immaculate and her eyes are deep water. Beauty is like a bird of prey. She's also heavily armed. Superior air fades, leaving a charming smile. Grace, allow me to introduce myself. I am Nazrael, the weaponsmith. I can craft the deadliest weapons mortals can make. I'd like to take the opportunity to pay my respects. As soon as I found out you were here, I dispatched one of my apprentices, but of course the bonehead failed his mission. I'd like to hear an offer that would be to our mutual benefit. What do you have to offer? I'll start serving you in exchange for your protection. You see, my creations are not to everyone's liking. In the lands where I come from, demand for artful blades is low. The heavier and cheaper ones are better for peasants. I'd swallow my pride and do such work merely to survive. So that serving you will allow me to earn true recognition. I'm offering you a contract. Provide me a workplace and all the necessary resources, and I shall fill your arsenal with perfect instruments of death. Or, I will craft for you personally an amazing and deadly weapon for which there is no equal. Yeah. Done. Alright. No one can touch a court blacksmith. I'll order my apprentices to pack up my materials and take them to the new workshop which you will kindly provide me with. As soon as I'm settled, I'll send one of my people to deliver your order. Well. Not that I care. This is just a, uh... wonderful place giving us quite a few different things literally nothing inside of this house why did I go in the house I'll tell you why I went in the house because I was allowed to go in the house well I feel like we need to build I think we have to build a couple of workshops there now for both of those people oh <sighs> But can we afford workshops is the question. I'd like to do it sooner rather than later. Might have to spend some money buying some BP. By like a hundred or two hundred. I don't remember how much it costs off the top of my head. I think it's like twenty-five gold apiece. Either twenty-five or like two hundred and fifty, which is a big difference. But either way, I'll probably buy at least a hundred. Soof that has the the BP. BP eighty. Okay. No, I do not want to buy that many. Right. 18,000 gold. Okay. Let's sell... A few things to, to soften the blow. Actually, we gotta go up this way.
Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed my video, leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already. Your support means the world to me after all. Stay safe out there, dear companions.